Now, Grandfather, I've um, heard you speak many times about the fact that all aspects of creation are one, and that we've we've lost that understanding, and and the result of losing that understanding is, as you just mentioned, the abuse of the mother. Because we have free choice, um, and 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 the prophecies that I've heard you speak of uh, indicate because of the doubt that that humanity is going to reap the um, uh, potentially the problems of that abuse but because we have choice is it too late to change the course no we got one more to go yet remember uh, four times and the fourth time i'm going to come back and i'm going to check up on you guys <laughs> so so we got a little ways to go yet so we already passed three and we've got one more to go. So we still have little time left. So that's why we're here. We're gonna take every split second and to, to tell each other that uh, we should all come back together. And uh, what, what uh, the fire is all about, instead of using the fire to make up bombs and that kind of destruction, so if we're not careful uh, to abuse the fire and, and rock the earth, uh, if we abuse it, uh, it be everything we contaminate because the intent was to use in the wrong way to kill to Tukashla's creation and our Holy Mother. That is wrong, see? So we're making uh, destructive tools uh, against ourselves. So if we're not careful, we might outsmart ourselves and blow our own heads off. So yesterday you and I were talking about the giant yeah. technology. Yeah. And that it's gotten ahead of us. Yeah. This was forecast 19 generations ago. Tungashla warned us. I gave you this fire this rock, this universe, this water, and the green, I gave it to you free of charge. Now, don't take this fire in your hands. If you do, you're going to burn. So that is now called nuclear destruction. So we have to really get to the source of our problems. We try to treat the problem by Monies are pouring in, like we have cancer society, leukemia, diabetes, and heart, all the way down to eight. All the monies are pouring in, but in the name of in gold we trust, but well, money does not buy health. So we know that now. And uh, so uh, money does not buy health. So multinational corporations the giant monster we're talking about, they knew now that money does not buy themselves a help. So why, why, why is it that particularly in, um, in Western cultures, there is so much materialism? What are we trying to do by buying more, going faster? What's pushing us? Well, in the very beginning, man wants to be godlike, using the power of wisdom, knowledge, and power. So he got ahead of himself and <laughs> wanted to use that power to be God. So uh, now abusing the fire, rock, and water, and green. So it's called greedy. Uh, no, but that is wrong. That is not right. So now we know that. So uh, we're here uh, to 
bring ourselves together, uh, we still have that chance. So we have to come back and try to understand uh, the fire, the rock, the water, and green. And then once we all understand, it has to be unanimous. Then we're going to escape from our own self-destruction. So the whole world will turn green again, and we could live here forever. In this country, we're, we're preoccupied. In fact, it was one of the basic uh, underpinnings of, of establishing America is freedom. Yeah. What is freedom? What is the true nature of freedom? The freedom is they gave us this fire and the rock and water free of charge. So we could live here as long as you want to, you could live here forever. That is the total freedom. But we abuse it. So now we try and get back. So we have to put that fire back where it belongs. Everything we have to stop abusing. And then then for doing so, they say if we put that fire back, they say the the well, as soon as you touch the earth there will be a flash of light and canopy the whole universe and all the sickness that are incurable oh, will be destroyed, not people. And even our dead will rise, resurrect from death. So it will be total victory. So it is possible that we could regain what we lost. And we can choose this. Yeah. We can choose this and we mm. can uh, follow a more natural way of living in balance and in harmony with Mother Earth. That's right. Is this the path yes, back? Yes, uh, we have to respect the fire, the rock and the water and green that was given, we call the Holy Mother. And now and Tungashla is above us, he's watching us, and there is no distance and there is no space in the eyes of God and the stars, he wears nine crowns of stars, and they're watching, they're, they know what we're thinking, and they could read, and they could talk, but we lost that hearing. So we, it seems like so far, but yet it's so near. Thank you, Wallace, thank you very much for being here today. We've been speaking with Wallace Black Elk, Lakota elder and spiritual interpreter. Please join us again and explore with us the true nature of things. You're watching Grassroots Television, serving the public for more than 25 years.